everyone Nikki here Smurfy161 so um, I got asked oh, I think it was Wendy Laurie who asked me how I made my yarn flat flowers I can't take credit for it because it was an idea I got from my year 2017 group and it was Jerry Bellini that did it so I can't actually take credit for this um, so what you need is some yarn, some glue. She watered hers down, but I've just used mine as is, so I used Mod Podge. Um, you need a glue that's going to dry clear. I'm going to decorate mine with glitter glue, but I'll get into that bit in a minute. So as I'm using quite chunky yarn, let me just stand up so you can see this. Um, if you were using thinner yarn or wanted your flower smaller, then just go around two fingers. But I'm going to go around all four. So, and the more you wrap it round, the thicker, um, the bigger your flower is. So just wrap it round, and once you're happy, cut it off, and then slide it off your fingers. So let me move that out of the way. And then I should have cut a bit of yarn first. I'm going to do mine in a different colour so you can see it. Um, but if you wanted to, you could use the same colour. So I'm trying. It's not very easy to do. Well, it is easy to do, but when you're trying to hold it up so people can see, it's not so easy. So, yeah, hold your little bundle together. And then get one of the ends and wrap it round a few times. Try and have it in the middle of your flower, but if, um, of your yarn, but if you can't, then don't panic. And then tie it together. I'm going to have to sit back down, so I'm hoping you're going to see okay. So tie that together as tight as possible. Probably two knots will do it. Well, that's what I did on mine. And then snip that bit off. I've got a tail here, but it doesn't matter. And then, in between all your loops, cut. So you're almost like kind of doing a pom-pom if you've ever made them. So you need to cut through all your loops on both bits. And any straggly bits, just trim. And then once you have it like that, pull it out. Um, as best you can, not the actual bits, but spread it out as best you can to make a kind of flower shape. Let me get rid of these bits. And just get a paintbrush. Let's move that. I've got bits of yarn everywhere now. And then, so I don't want to get glue on my top. And then you get your glue. You can put these on paper clips afterwards, anything like that. Um, or on. So you get your glue and let's move that. Let's just come in a little bit more. Oops. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you just get your glue and cover it basically. So spread it out and keep playing with your little strands to make it how you want your flower. And as nothing is in nature perfect, then, you know, don't worry too much. But yeah, just keep um, twisting it a bit. And then once you've done that side, I might just put a little bit more glue on there. And then turn it over so it doesn't matter that that other side's all gluey and then you just carry on doing the other side the same if you find you haven't cut through your loops before this you can um, change you know cut them afterwards even when it goes hard so, so that's all gluey so I'm just going to move that to one side and I had some that I did yesterday because this will take time um, to dry so just bear with me while I swap over oh god hands wide 
go. Didn't think of that very well. Right. So these ones, let me just come out again. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you all sick. So these ones I did yesterday and I've left to dry overnight. I did use the heat gun a little bit on them this morning just to dry. They're still a little bit wet. So once you've got them, I'm going to move some of these. So once you've got them to this stage, once they've dried overnight once, and like I was saying, I've got a loop there. So even though it's hard, you can cut it, but I wouldn't say like use your um, scissors that you use for other things. So now you've got it to that hard stage, here comes the real fun bit. You can then paint it, um, use paints. I'm going to use glitter glues on this one. So let me just get my glitter glues. So I've only got three colours. I've got a mixture of stickles and... Um, Dovecraft. So yeah, you can add paint. I want these glittery. Oh, come on. So yeah. Then you can just decorate them. So I'm just going to put a load of glitter glue over this. And I'll just use my fingers. I don't mind getting that. Yeah, and then you can paint it, add glitter and just jazz them up. And then, you know, put a thing in the middle or put it on a paper clip. I'm actually going to put glitter on the other side of this because I want it sparkly both sides. Um, as, um, what do I? I'm not sure now. <laughs> no, mine are going to go on paper clips. So I'm going to, oh, actually I will. Why not? Let's just go for it. Yeah, so that's, they're really simple to do. There's nothing a great, um, science to it or anything like that and then with your um whatever glue or paint you've put on them then leave that to dry again overnight um something i forgot to say is i'm doing mine on grease proof paper so make sure you do them either on those non-stick sheets or um Grease proof paper, something that it will lift off because obviously you're gluing both sides. So let me just do another one. Let's do this one purpley. Yeah, so that's all you need to do. Wrap it around your finger a few times, take it off, wrap some yarn around the middle, tie it. I can do another one. I will um if you want me to too. So I'll just refresh so you would wrap it round like so, I don't want to do any more flowers, so um, that's why I had some pre-done. So you'd go like that, then you would obviously cut it, wrap your yarn, yarn around the middle, and then trim your holes. I will do another one, just in case I didn't explain it very well. So let me move these out of the way again, and I'll get my other sheet just to refresh. Refresh you all. So, yeah, you get your yarn. Let's do this one. Wrap your yarn. It won't work with ribbon. Um, I did mention that it just will not do the job. You then slide it off your hand. And I will use a different colour for it again, just so you're seeing what I'm on about. So, yeah, just to refresh again, you've wrapped it around your fingers. You then get your yarn and wrap it around the middle. Oops, wrap it around the middle a few times just to hold it in place. Then, oops, and then you would tie your knot and cut your loops and spread it out to make your flowers. So, like I said, it's really, really simple, really fun to do. So I'm going to go back to my decorating. I hope that made sense. If there's any questions, leave it in the comments and I will try and answer it as best I can. So I'm going to carry on decorating this one. I really don't know if I've explained that very well. If I haven't, then please go and... Oh, God. That's not good. Ah, whole thing came off then. That's not meant to happen. 
right, let's have a purpley one. Yeah, so you just decorate them. Um, I haven't got any to show, I'm afraid. I don't think I have. I might do. I'll have a look in a minute. I'm just going to decorate these. Oh yeah, I thought I'd um, use glitter glue this time. I have used um, paints and they were great fun. Um, but yeah, they're just so simple. And if you like me and you do crochet, um, crochet or um, knitting and you also do paper crafting, then it's a great, it's a great way to use up your stash. This one I'm going to do is this. Because I have got so many small balls of yarn, and I do, um, I mean, I make dog blankets and stuff as well, so. Oh, it's so much fun just getting messy and fun. Lovely, lovely. I haven't used the um, glitter on these before, so it's going to be quite fun to see how it actually um how they would dry so i will show them in one of my videos once these have dry and i've completely done them so they'll probably like be a part two of these you know in one of my finished projects right i think i just need to wipe some of this glitter off my hands because i'm getting rather sticky I don't mind being sparkly but oh and of course i haven't got any kitchen roll oh well at least I've got my rag so I can dry my hands off um I will just say I'm dyslexic so if I ever do a tutorial I hope I explain it well um the comments I had on the tutorial I did for my junk journal they were really nice so thank you um so obviously I didn't do too bad let's have some white and I hope I'm staying in frame. Yep, I am. Woohoo, staying in frame, whoopie doo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in a bit of a funny mood. One of my funny moods. So yeah, you do need to wait until they are completely um, rock hard. And remember to use the grease proof um, paper. Nothing like some messy crafting. Right, so I'm just going to leave those to dry and I'm going to see if I can find a flower that I've already, you know, completely gone through the process. So just bear with me. I just need to move these to a new drying spot. Let's have a look. Should we in this box here? I know I had one, I'm sure I haven't used it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. If you don't want to watch this bit, then fast forward, but I know there is one in here. it when I want to find something on camera it's um, ah there it is so hold on sorry I will show you <laughs> just getting round to the camera so that is one that's already been painted and blinged up and on the back I just put a little bit of um Felt. So that's what it would look like when it's completely dried. I mean, I don't know if you're hearing that. As you can hear, it is really rock hard. So yeah, I just put a little bit of felt behind mine because I thought if I did want to add it to a paper clip. So this is a real tiny one and I used, um, if you're into yarn, this is a DK yarn. So it's quite a thinnish yarn. These are both 
really chunky on so it will vary you can use those um what i call like tinsely yarns and stuff but yeah fabric um i mean ribbon will not work i tried it and it just turned into a big disaster yeah so i would say yarn fibers you know haven't tried it with fabric because i haven't got any fabric big enough to wrap around my fingers so that is my yarny flowers i hope it all made sense if it did um leave a comment and i'll try and explain it that way okay take care bye